Welcome to Moon Meditations. Today is Pitrupaksha 3. And the moon has moved across the Gadanta from Pisces, a water sign, into Aries, fiery Aries, ruled by Ketu, the Nakshatra Ashwini is ruled by Ketu. In another fire sign, Aries, ruled by Mars. Ashwini is about horses. And if you've had an opportunity to explore the guided meditation from September 23rd, when we took a journey to the stars, to the 100 healers in the Nakshatra Shatabisha. Today we also visit the horses, the twin horses, Ashwini. So take a deep breath, find a comfortable seat if you're seated, Draw that front body up so that the spine is engaged and the crown is reaching for the sun. If you're on a chair, the feet will be well grounded. Seat bones feeling connected to the seat. On a cushion, seat bones grounded. Spine growing upward with each breath. Shoulders melting downward on the exhale. Or maybe you're choosing to lay down, feeling the full length of the back body connected to the earth, gazing upward into the nakshatra Ashwini. The Ashwins are the link between darkness of the night and the brightness of the day. They're connected to the freshness of the new morning at the dawn. When we're not sure what the day will bring, we know the sun is rising on the horizon the stars are fading in the sky. And we're pausing for a moment. Just in that moment, before the sun is truly wholly visible on the horizon. This is a nakshatra to bring new light into your soul. Grow spiritually. Spend some time today feeling the radiance of your inner truth. You may, throughout the day, feel connected to karma. You may find that there's a karmic debt that will show up today. But the strength of the two horses moving in many directions, sometimes reined in, sometimes free-spirited. The day has an opportunity for many unique experiences. So as you get more comfortable observing your natural breath, feeling the nourishing prana flowing in, open your Ajna chakra to the vibrations of the sounds Noticing 
any sounds that may be outside the room you're in or if you're outside in the natural environment. Noticing each one carefully. And then drawing those sounds in as the sensation of prana that rides in on sound, much like prana rides in on breath. and visualize horses in any way that you see them. Freely running, spirited, playful, contained and gentle, close. Maybe you're riding one. Maybe you're just standing and talking, sharing a moment side by side. The two horses are twin sons of Surya, the sun, Nastaya and Dasra. So now that we're acquainted, We'll take a few minutes for a sound healing to bring the prana in through the vibrations of the sounds of the day.
Inhaling the palms to the heart center. Anjali Mudra. Press gently against the heart chakra. Today we look to Ganesha to help us move past obstacles and learn the lessons of our challenges. Om Gam Ganapadeye Namaha Till tomorrow for another moon meditation. Adiós.